YouTube subscribers and to my new subscribers, thank you for subbing my channel. And I am back. And I've been having the worst of luck with my videos. But you know what? I'm just going to get them out to you. And some of them may have the timestamp on them. This one I'm using my phone. I still haven't heard from my technical support with my new editing system that I purchased. So I'm getting on that this morning. I've given them two weeks and I've had enough. So um, real quick, I just want to come to you with my braids. Yes, I love them. Um, I don't, they're Marley Twist, the larger Marley Twist braids. I didn't use the Havana hair. I used the Jamaica braid and the Rastafarian dreadlock hair together. I prefer the Jamaica braid by Bobby Boss over the Rastafarian. The Rastafarian hair is a lot softer. However, you get two pack, two bundles in a pack for $10.49 or $10.99 where I live. And the Jamaica braid is one pack and it's $5.49. They are not equivalent. The Rastafarian dreadlock hair, the one bundle is not equivalent to one pack of the Jamaica braid hair. It's just not. The Jamaica braid hair is a lot thicker. And the reason why I'm going over this now is because I had a video. I did two videos last night. I had a video that I recorded last week when I was comparing the hair and... I deleted them and then it didn't download so it was all bad so I have to kind of go through this again but I do not have the hair to really show you um, what I mean. So anyway the Rastafarian hair is lighter, it's thinner and it is softer. So therefore compared to the Jamaica braid hair, the Jamaica braid hair the texture is a lot thicker, coarser and fuller. So you're going to get more hair um, from the Jamaica braid hair single pack than you would an individual pack out of the two packs in the Rastafarian, if you're following me. Um, the Rastafarian, if I would have used that by itself, it would have required, I used nine bags total, and I believe if I would have used the Rastafarian, which only used three packages, I would have had to use more um, hair and it would have been more costly because it's not going to give you the same as one pack in comparison. That's not true. They try to tell me that the wig store, they do not know what they're talking about. So anyway, those are really the only hair out here where I live that's available to me. I think one wig shop does sell the Marley hair. So I really don't know the texture of the Marley hair. I think that's like the pink package or whatever. I don't really know the texture of that because I haven't tried it. Anyway, um, I love this. I have about 34 braids in my hair. And I did start, as you can see, I started out them out with a twist so they're not braided in. And then let me just show you the back. And it is super duper duper long. Super long. It's long. I mean long. And I used six pieces so when you have your pack you take out just the way they are the six pieces i use six pieces per pack i mean per braid and i get my denim and brush it's downstairs i get my denim and brush and i brush it out i brush it out and then i'll twist it in i did use the regular kinky twist method where i know with havana twist and if you have the havana hair you would just twist but because I use this hair, and also, as you can see where my hair is, in order for me to get it, because see right here, it's starting to come up. Because my hair curls up. It can resurrect at any time. Any time. I'll get it to lay, but it may resurrect at any time. Like right here, it's trying to resurrect itself. So I have to use the twisting method all the way down to try to get this hair in here. Or else we're going to have a problem. And I cannot stand for my hair right here. It's sticking out. I can't stand that. And I will work at doing this over. So, anywho, this is the outcome of it. Um, I've been playing with it. Playing with different styles. I've worn it in a scarf. I've worn it with a, a high bun. I've worn it where I twisted up. Took like these two twisted. These two twisted. These two twisted. And then 
pinned it up. Something it looks something like this, and I have it pinned up. Um, I, I like it. I just I dipped it yesterday again in hot water and I let it just set um, to kind of soften it up. The only thing about this hair, it's not as soft as I would like it to be. I still would like the kinky feel, but I would like for it to be softer. That's just my only thing. I know with the Havana hair, I've seen a video where there was a comparison between the Marley and the Havana. And the Havana hair appears to be softer. And I am going to look into ordering that and try these again. Now, the time that it took me to do this, this is what happened. As I, I don't know if I stated it when I first started this video. I tried to do this in a crochet style. Yeah, I did. It was an epic fail. Okay? I, if I have the video still, I will put it into this video to give you a little, you know, insert of what it looked like. And I looked at like, uh, as my husband would say, a DF. So you figure out those, you know, initial. And he wouldn't, he didn't tell me anything. I worked on it for like two days because I told you I have a bad shoulder. And a lot of times I'd rather just, I can't keep doing my hair. I can't keep having this arm. From here to here I'm okay, but having this arm above my shoulder, you just don't even understand the pain that I go through. And so anyway, um, I'd rather just put, put it up and keep it up so I don't have to worry about, you know, doing my hair. So I'm working on my hair, you know, it takes me forever, two days working on my hair. And finally I look in the mirror and I'm like, Tamisa, you look a hot, raggedy mess. Take that mess out your head. I had to take it out. You, and you know what, sidebar, what I don't understand is that we have mirrors, okay? Men made mirrors for a reason, for a reflection so that we can see ourselves, okay? I understand that I may see myself in a certain way that when I go out in public, other people may see me differently. I understand that. However, if I came, in, came to the conclusion that I looked a hot mess and I immediately accepted that first opinion of myself and took that mess out, then when people wear stuff or get dressed and they look in the mirror, I know there has to be a little voice in their head telling them, you look a mess. Like, take that off. You look a mess. And people must say, I don't, you must talk to that voice and you must debate with that voice and you must tell that voice that you don't look a mess. I don't know. But when you come out in public, you look a mess. Some people look a hot mess and you're like, Didn't, somebody should have told you you look a mess. And if your friends is telling you, girl, you look, they lying and they shouldn't be your friends because that's not right. Anyway, I had to put that in there because I knew I looked a mess. That's why I took that mess on my head. Walking around here looking, no, nope, I was not going to be looking like that. So anyway, I said, well, what I'm going to have to do is um, go ahead and just braid it. And I, this is the first time I've done the uh, two-strand, starting it out with the two-strand method and not braiding the first time. And in actual in actuality, I've said before how I have an issue with wearing, you know, the braids, for one, because of my hair coming out, but for two, my edges. And this method really doesn't, it wasn't tight on my edges. And by using this method, it seems like to me that you have more of a leeway um, on... You know, how tight you want it, where you're going to pull it from. So, I'm going to see how this works. And I will touch it up. I touched up this one yesterday. You know, touch it up as it's as needed. And I'm going to really, really um, try to keep these in at least for four weeks. It's the summertime. It's hot. Um, like I said, you can throw the scarves on. And what I'll do is probably do a, a little uh, collage of pictures in the different styles that I can wear this in or that I've chosen to wear it in. And periodically, I will have to touch this up, take it down and touch it up. I use the Care Care. I really do like this. And I get it at my local Ulta Beauty, um, beauty Supply Store. And I know it can be ordered online. Then I try to use my points because it's it's kind of pricey. It's seventeen dollars. Yeah, seventeen dollars. But I had some points, so I left out the store and I paid ten dollars for it. Yeah, I'll be trying to work it. Now this is one of my staple products, and it's it's in my drawer down here. All my everyday usage or staple products, I keep them in a certain place. So see how that smoothed that out a little. But once. 
if it steam or something hits it, it'll probably curl up again on me. And I just don't, I don't, don't like that. And even if my hair wasn't dyed and it was on the ends and it was the same color as the braid, it doesn't matter. It's still going to do the same thing. So my care for it, the way that I care for it, I put in oils on my scalp. Um, I'm not I'm not using any moisturizers, you know, with water as the first ingredient because it's wet and it's going to really cause it to curl up. I'm not using a mister, a spray. I'm not using any of that. In all honesty, I feel that when we put these in our hair, we have a tendency to want to wear these updos, which helps put more stress, stress and tension on your edges because you're constantly pulling this back, constantly pulling it back. I think the way, because I have this as a side part, I kind of think that sometimes the way that you put them in is the way that you should just leave them um, to for less stress and tension. Also, I don't believe that I should make this concoction, and I think I said this on another one of my videos, where I'm spraying all this stuff in my hair causing buildup because I'm not going to wash these. It's going to be too heavy. These are too long, and you... And I tried to show earlier how long they are. They're too long. And I'm not going to cause buildup in my hair. I will use witch hazel or another um, product to just cleanse my scalp this week. And then start over with oil and oil. And maybe take a little bit of, um, I have a shea butter cream. Maybe put that in there. But I'm not going to wet it because it's just, I'm not going to do all that. I don't think that needs to be done. Then you get buildup up in here. Then a little, I don't know, but that's just my personal preference. I'm not saying that's what you need to do. I'm not saying that that's written in gold or anything like that. So, that's really my maintenance. Also, at night, I put a bonnet on or I will tie this part down with the scarf and pin this up and still sleep on my satin scarf because I'm just concerned about, you know, these hairs. Like, this one wants to come out. I'm telling you, the curls will resurrect they will resurrect on their own. Lay them down. There's going to be a resurrection. That looked like it want to resurrect too. This one, even here, I got that down pretty good, I thought. And it's starting to curl. Resurrection. <laughs> but like I said, I love them. They're not heavy. I've gotten a lot of compliments. Well, when I was in San Diego, I got more compliments. I think where I live, we on the late train. We trying to wear head scarves. We don't do that out here. San Francisco, L.A., San, San Diego, they're up on it. It seemed like a lot of times, though, you in order to keep up with the fashion period, you need to read magazines, watch television, um, maybe get on blogs and stuff to see what's the latest fashion. Because New York, the East Coast, is always going to get something before we do. They always have. And then we're here on the West Coast. We get stuff later, but in order to keep up with the fashion, you have to stay within social media. You have to watch it. I love the headscarves, but out here, everybody's not wearing a headscarf. And then if you put in a headscarf on, it's like, what is she doing? She ain't coming through. It's not that. It's a style. It's a fashion. And so, these are a style. I had somebody on Facebook. They do hair, and they're from here, and they were talking about, I'm not doing no dookie braids. Nobody is wearing dookie braids, and nobody calls them dookie braids anymore, okay? Dookie braids were like 1990, 91, eight. Nobody calls them dookie braids, okay? They're either Petra, they refer to them as Petra because, you know, the dancer, or the singer, she wore those braids, or Poetic Justice because um, Janet Jackson wore them in the movie Poetic Justice, and so... So, Solage, Soleil, I don't know how to pronounce Beyonce's sister name. I, I know that she's more them. So, those are more, um, they're referring to them or box braids. So, that's the name. Nobody is calling them dookie braids. That is so wretched and ghetto. Nobody's calling them that. I don't know why we called them that. To, uh, you know, centuries ago, but nobody is calling them that now. And what people fail to understand that what comes goes around, it comes back around. A lot of this stuff that we wore and what we, the way we wore our hair, 
it. We did it 20 years ago. It's coming back around. Don't knock it. And if you're a hairdresser and you choose not to do it, just choose not to do it. But don't knock nobody else that's doing it. That's the style. Okay, just like you're doing all these invisible parts, weaves, and all that other stuff, this is the style. This right here is the style, the thing that's going. These larger twists or Havana twists, whatever you want to call it, this is the style. This is what's going. Why knock it? That's what it is. And then, you know, three years later, you're going to be trying to wear it. It's out of style. You should have came in when it was in style. But three years come along, you're going to make something be back in style that's gone. We're going to know something else. So, you know, I'm just wanting to put that out there, too, because I thought that was just, that's just rude. I mean, we don't call them dookie braids. They're box braids, Petra braids, um, Beyonce sister braids, Poetic Justice braids, whatever you want to call them. But dookie braids, come on. Anyway, um... You know, I have to rant on my videos. I have to rant. So, like I said, I love them. I like them. Um, and if there's anything else I missed about them that you may have a question on, then hit me up. And like I always say, comment, rate, subscribe to my channel. But comment, talk to me, and I'm going to talk back, I promise. Alright, until next time, peace.